Hello everybody, today I'm at Ziegler Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram taking a look at this all new 2019 Ram 1500. This is the Laramie Longhorn Edition. This vehicle does have almost every single option available. As you can see you do have your LED lighting, your LED strips, top and bottom, and then your LED low and bright lights. <coughs> You do have LED fog lights, and you do have your parking sensors next to both of those. You come over to the chrome grill, you have your front camera, chrome tow hooks, nice factory fender flares, 20 inch chrome rims, you have your Laramie Longhorn Ram badge, Coming up to the hood, you have your 1500 Hemi 5.7 liter emblem. Chrome mirrors with blind spot on both of them. Chrome door handle trim with proximity entry. Massive rear door. This new 2019 model does give you four more inches of cab length. There's those rims again. LED lights with blind spot monitoring built in. Chrome bumper, dual exhaust. Backup sensors right there. The all new Ram logo. Backup camera. And your Laramie Longhorn logo. Let's take a look at the engine. Here's a closer look at the 5.7 liter Hemi. Same engine as last year, same horsepower and torque numbers. However, because of the weight savings, you do get a little bit better fuel economy. Um, this particular model does not have the e-torque system, which would be located right here. Uh, the e-torque system is going to be a late availability, so it'll probably be available sometime near the end of the year. Let's take a look at the inside. Here is the key to this Laramie Longhorn. As you can see, you have unlock, lock. Uh, this will um, release the tailgate, and this will remote start the vehicle. Uh, as long as you have the key in your pocket and you're by the door, uh, it will open for you. You don't need to hit the unlock button. Getting in is very easy with these power running boards that open and close with the vehicle. It does take a couple seconds to close after the door is closed. All right, before we get in, I just wanna point out the attention to detail um, with all the accents and stuff in this vehicle. You have this really nice wood material with these bronzish color accent trim. This does come with the 19 um, speaker audio system. So now we're inside. Very comfortable, very nice grab handle. We can start over on the door side. You have memory seating. You have your um, window controls. I think this is a carryover from the last model year. You have all your lighting information right here. Lighting controls, you have your parking brake, you have your adjustable pedals as well, right there. Um, heating and cooling vent in the same spot as last year. You do have a absolutely beautiful updated um, display. I'm gonna turn the vehicle on real quick, get some air in here. This vehicle is very quiet. Um, Engine is very quiet, uh, transmission shifts, uh, very seamless. You have all your information you could ever want right, right, up, right up here. Okay, to control that, you have this little control pad right here. You can move over and set up your screen however you'd like. You can just scroll through all the information right here. This is your uh, lane keep assist, which your distance is controlled right there on that side of the wheel. 
Coming back over here, you have your hands-free calling. Really nice new updated RAM logo in the front. Like I said before, your um, lane keep assist. This is all your cruise control settings and whatnot. And then down here, you have your manual gear select. So you do have the volume and the channel preset rockers on the back behind the wheel. Absolutely beautiful leather wrap steering wheel. It is heated as well as you'd expect. Very nice wood trim throughout. Push button start, I believe, comes standard on all models now, including the Tradesman. Down here you have your rotary shift dial, which is very easy to use. You also have your um, selection right here for two wheel drive, four auto, four high, and four low. Neutral button as well. You do have a little bit of a cubby right here for papers and whatnot. This particular model does come with the 12 inch touchscreen display. As you can see, it's split right now. You can have up to two things going at once. To select a new bottom screen, you can just click up on this, I believe. Uh, let's go to media. Alrighty. And then you have your navigation up top. And I want, let's say, comfort. And you can switch between the two. Really cool. Um, not only do you have the touchscreen buttons for your climate control, you also actually have physical buttons um, on the driver's side, which is really nice. And the passenger can control their temperature as well. There are so many features um, and, and customizable options within this. I could, I could do a, a video on it all its own. Um, down here, underneath the dual um, settings, you have other controls such as heated seats. You can control your climate, which takes up the entire thing if you'd like. Go in here, you have apps. Uh, let's see. I don't have my phone hooked up, so I can't do Apple CarPlay, but this vehicle does have Apple CarPlay um, with it. Coming up top, you have a little bit of a cubby right here, as well as a 12 volt outlet. Let's see if you can see it. There's your Harman Kardon uh, speaker. Like I said before, this does have 19 speakers in it, so uh, you, you can definitely rock out if you'd like. Down here you have your integrated trailer brake. Very nice. Um, when you squeeze that or so, um, select what gain you'd like, you can look up here and I'll tell you the percent. Very cool. You have traction control on off, tow haul mode, and you have physical buttons for um, front and rear parking sensors. You do also get a notification up here on the screen turning both off or both on. They moved the single disc player from inside the center console here to the center stack, which I think is a great idea. You have two USBs and then two new USB type C, I believe, as, as well as an auxiliary port right there. Very massive center console. Um, the thing I like that Ram did was they gave you the ability to customize it. So let's say you just want a huge center open area, push this button and slide it back. You have room right here for uh, your phone storage and stuff like that. Let's say you want some more cup holder room, push that forward and you have access to cup holders as well as some more storage right here with some coin storage as well. You can close all of that off and it looks really nice and clean. Lifting up the smaller portion of the center console, <clears throat> you have a little bit of storage with a USB right there. And then coming over and lifting up the big part, you have access to the other portion of the center stack. Very deep, 
Uh, you can control, um, f you know, fill levels. If you want to divide something from the front portion of the storage area, you can. I know a lot of people have talked about this, but they do have uh, measurements and uh, trigonomic ratios. I think is pretty cool, a little bit of an Easter egg. Let's take this all the way back. There you go. I forgot to mention you do have the power 115 volt right in there. You just get so much storage in this thing, it's crazy. Push that forward. The quality and the workmanship in this vehicle is next level. I mean, you have absolutely beautiful trim everywhere. Look at look at the detail on this. It's almost like branded into the actual material. Leather is just great quality, great great touch, feels absolutely amazing. Dual glove compartments. And look at the stitching. Like the the detail in the craftsmanship. I am very impressed with this truck. You do have your Laramie Longhorn logo on every seat, except the jump seat. Seat bolsters are nice, keep you in your seat. You do have the three garage door control right there, as well as lit vanity. Here you have the, let me see if it can focus real quick. The redesigned um, door control, as well as tail, you have your tailgate lift right here. Push it, it'll go down. Uh, this, I believe, is your child lock. I'm not entirely sure. You do have your driver assist and your SOS buttons if you need it. And then all these right here are for the windows. So this is for the panoramic sunroof, which goes the length of the cab. This is to vent it. This is to open it completely. I don't know if you'll be able to see because of the lighting. This is your um, rear portion of the panoramic sunroof. And then this uh, opens and closes the rear sliding window. There's your LED map lights as well. Both sides. Very, very sweet truck. <laughs> I definitely, uh, would like to get one. Let's uh, let's take a quick look at the back and see how much legroom we have. Something else I forgot to mention: when you put the vehicle in reverse, you not only get the guidelines, you have the 360-degree view. But if you t turn the wheel at all, another line appears. That's going to be where the front wheels are going to go, as well as the back wheels. So you not only get it on the guidelines. You can see there's a red Mercedes behind me. I can actually see in the camera, if you see right here, that's the Mercedes. Very cool feature. This is just such a smooth vehicle. I absolutely am in love with this Ram. Again, getting into the vehicle is very easy with these ram steps. Uh, something new with the new redesign is you do have um, bigger in-floor storage than you previously had. You also, it looks like, have a ruler here in centimeters and a ruler here in inches. Goes from zero to 15. Let's jump in real quick. Holy cow. So with the with this driver's seat in the position where I would be uh, sitting if I was driving, um, I would say I easily have 10 inches, 11 inches of legroom. Um, I am 5'11", almost six feet tall, if that's any indication. Um, these saddlebacks are absolutely beautiful, beautiful design. Tons and tons of legroom back here. These back seats are absolutely huge. Coming over here, you do have your cup holders for the rear passengers, as well as your heating and cooling vents. 
these seats are heated and ventilated. Very nice. You also have more USB type C and regular USBs as well as a 115 volt outlet right there. Oh my goodness. Absolutely beautiful. I can't I can't get over how beautiful it is. You pull the center jump seat down and you have even more cup holders and they give you storage in the back too. Very nice, generous sized armrest. Um, most trucks give you about this wide of a, a cup holder and armrest. Having, uh, having one this size is absolutely amazing. To put it up is very easy. Another thing about these seats is they recline. So, there's a little grab handle right here. You can see it. Pull up on it and lean forward and you can recline. Let's see if I can get a shot of me reclining. Just chilling. And then to put it back to normal, grab handle, back up. Very sweet. These seats also fold as well. So let's get out. Very easy to pull up and down. And you do have more room now for under seat storage, as well as hooks if you need to hook something up. Very nice, very nice. Let's take a look at the, uh, the bed. To release the bed, you just push this button two times, or the button in the cab. This vehicle does come with a spray and bed liner. Very thick, very nice quality and a soft trifold tonneau cover. If you're interested in getting a vehicle like this or the new 2019 Ram 1500, uh, I will leave contact information in the description below. I'd like to thank Ziegler Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough on this vehicle. They are located in Granville, Michigan, and they're getting a lot of these in. So like I said, if you're interested, I will leave contact information in the description below. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Here's a quick look at the window sticker. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it with the glare. This vehicle base price is $53,695. With all of the available options, it brings the total price to $64,430. However, with rebates and incentives, you can have this vehicle for a little bit less than that. Here is your MPG information, 15 city, 21 highway for an average of 17.